In this video, I answer the question, how precise are the readings we get from micron gauges? Hello, my name is Zach Sciotta from the HVAC Shop Talk podcast, and I'm here with my 40-ish foot roll of inch and one-eighth copper, and I have made four taps, only using three today, put three micron gauges on it, P51-870s, the new wide jack micron gauge, and a field piece micron gauge. And I've hooked the other end up to the NAVVAC 4CFM vacuum pump, battery powered, because I love battery stuff. Here's the battery, just like, uh, just like I just mentioned just now. True Blue Hose, the best vacuum hose that I've tested, connected to one end, all the micro gauges at the other end. Will the readings be the same? They should be. They're digital tools. They're highly calibrated and highly accurate, right? So let's see exactly what they read. We're gonna put this under a vacuum for 10 minutes and check on it, then 20 minutes and check on it. And let's see what kind of readings we have on this end. And after we're done, we'll shut it off. We have our VCRT on here from AccuTools. We'll shut it off and see what the decay looks like. You know what, before we get into that, let's take a little look at uh, creating this rig while I go ahead and set up my stuff. Well, the good news is that all three micron gauges were really, really close. I'm actually a little surprised. I thought it was gonna be like a huge discrepancy. We were gonna prove like the entire digital tool industry was just a fraud, but it's not. That's actually should be pretty reassuring. So now we're gonna check the decay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut off the VCRT right here, thus severing the vacuum from the rest of the system. We're gonna watch the readings go up. We can look on the other screen right now while the readings are going up. We can see 144, 168, and we have 141 here. So I'm gonna shut the pump off so we can hear a little bit better, except for the beeping. And we're gonna come back in around five minutes and we're gonna see exactly where we're at in the decay. And if we're good there, then we can have a lot of confidence that our gauges are actually what they say they are, which is a good thing. Five minutes later. On the P51s, we have 144. On the Y-Jack, we have 149. And on the field piece gauge, we have 179. 
So even though we have a little bit of a discrepancy between the two yellow jackets and the field piece, boy, that ain't a whole lot. Actually, I'm pretty pleased with that after a five minute decay. Even the field piece versus the two yellow jacket, I mean, they're still pretty close. I think that's a, I think that's a win in my book. I would be satisfied using any one of those three gauges and having a good feeling about it because the field piece is on the very end. So we take that into consideration, even though it's, you know, just a few inches, it is on the very end of the system. So it should be a little bit higher. I wouldn't think it'd be more than a few microns higher, but we have a little bit of an allowance we can give it. I hope we're all reassured because actually the gauges did pretty good, guys. I think we should be satisfied. We're gonna set up the next test and I will see you guys on the next one.